We're trying to figure out how this mm -hmm. next story happened. You'll see in just a minute. The Lime Bike bike sharing pr uh, program came to Reno last month. It's been pretty popular so far. Right, and last weekend, they actually hit a record for the weekend with more than 1,700 trips in just one day. But there have been some issues with where people have been leaving the bikes. And that was highlighted this weekend in downtown Reno. I'm disappointed, Chris. Chris Buckley joins uh -huh. us live in the studio. And Chris, this bike got a lot of attention. So this is the Virginia Street Bridge. That would be the bike. Somebody managed to leave this bike on top of the Virginia Street Bridge. No one with the city knows exactly how it got up here. We have another picture of it too. There it is. But uh, the city had to use a boom truck to get it down. And of course, their main concern is safety. Someone took that risk which we actually have laws against climbing the bridges. We enacted it about a month ago, and this is exactly the reason why. And the law is a misdemeanor citation, which can be up to six months in jail or $1,000 citation up to. Now, the city of Reno has received nine complaints about the bikes since this program started here last month. Four of those have to do with riding the bikes on city sidewalks, which in a lot of areas is not allowed. Another problem is where they're left. That's caused some problems with access on sidewalks and with handicap ramps. You can um, park them in the sidewalk just as long as it's not impeding traffic on the sidewalk. So, in other words, don't, don't park them sideways where people can't get around them. So, and then another issue we've had, the one issue that we have had has been um, when people park them right by the ramp for the uh, uh, wheelchairs on the corners of lots. We had another viewer send us a picture of what not to do with your line bike. Not where to leave it. So yeah, try to keep it out of trees, not on power boxes. I mean, people are just, they're going crazy about that. So Lime Bike says that as soon as they heard about the bike on the bridge, that would be this one. They were on scene within 15 minutes. Um, since the bike all have GPS systems, it's easy to track their locations. Lime Bike says the amount of bikes that have been vandalized or damaged is very, very small. They say about less than 1% total. They also have sensors that can track when a bike has fallen down. So they're working to further develop that technology. So it's easier to detect bikes that have fallen down or are parked improperly. So we'll take one more look here at the uh, the tree bike. No. <laughs> Covering the story live in the studio, Chris Buckley, Channel 2 News. Back to you guys. Oh. Mm.